Hello, I went to Suffolk University in 2021 and 2022. I stayed the fall of 2021 in, in Boston, in Suffolk. Suffolk University is a downtown uh, university in Boston, right beside the the Boston Commons Park. Right down in the city, there's like five buildings there, which belong to Suffolk, which you walk around, and you, you dorm room and lecture halls and you know, places to eat. I shared a room with two other guys. Kyle and Griffin, they were very nice. They were both blonde and very much American. One was a skateboard, the other played hockey. We did lots of things together, but uh, I was very unwell mentally, which I got sent to psych ward after two months in Boston for four days. And then I went back to Costa Rica and I studied the, the online semester. And I came back in 2022 and again, I was five days out of the psych ward. I got sent to psych ward again. I stayed for a month and I was very still unwell. I got better in 2023. Uh, Back in Brazil, of course. But in Suffolk, I met a lot of new people. I made friends. I got, you know, invited to stuff. I went to my first ever college party in October and Halloween. Everybody was dressed as Jesus. I went as Indiana Jones. Uh, in Suffolk, you know, the class sizes are like 25 to 15 people. And I had comic book class, philosophy class, psychology class, public speaking class, mathematics. And uh, psychology was very fun. Uh, we would sit around at different tables and just chat. But uh, you had to do two semesters of mathematics to, in, in the psych course, which I did not do. And I, I dropped that course and I started a philosophy and media course, but I only lasted five days doing that. But I really remember doing um, public speaking class. It was very fun because I, I you know, told my story in, as a, a comedic way and people would laugh. And I felt part of something, part of community for the first time in my life. Even though I was very much mentally unwell, I was very much happy. Uh, I lied to my families and friends, but, but uh, my parents stood by me all the time. And when I was in the psych ward, they came to see me and stayed close because they thought I was going to get homeless. But I, t I talked to the homeless people. I gave them donuts, pizza. I brought a guy's pack of cigarettes. Uh, I gave like 20 bucks to a veteran sleeping at a at one of the one of the icons in the park. I made friends. Um, and my uh, the second time I returned to Boston, Kyle and not Kyle. I met Kyle uh, too, but um, Mike and uh, Brendan were my new roommates. Mike was a chef working on a cooking, and Brendan, you know, brought his TV and we played combat, Mortal Kombat a lot. But I made a, a raw chicken sandwich. You can still find it on my channel. But I had fun. Um, I went to a party and. One of the buildings in in my dorm, which had a a taller room, which had three floors, was the capacity was for eight people, and we just messed around. And had some fun. Me and my friend Sam and Amir would walk around Boston making a mess. We jumped through the 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 catracas or the place where you pass to go into the metro, and um, we we went inside a waterfall and we just playing around the city and talking. I felt belonging. Uh, Suffolk, you know, got me in, but they dropped my 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 student my student I visa and um, to a visa, and I lost my my spot in the university because I got into psych ward again for a month. I was very much unwell, uh, but I had fun and I made lots of experiences and I really enjoyed my time there in Boston. I'll never forget it. Uh, I'm you know felt, felt alive and free. Now I'm in Brazil and. I don't really like it here. I mean, I like the people and the language, but I I don't feel at home, if that makes sense. Even though I'm not American, I'm Brazilian and Italian. I might go to Italy next, because I'm a citizen. But yeah, the classes and stuff were like, it started some eight, Some days you had like three classes per day, other days you had one class, and some days you didn't have a class at all. And the cool thing is, you got discounts on the shops around the campus. Like, you got free cookies and some of the cookies. You got free donuts sometimes. Uh, there was a military surplus place, which is cool. She brought some stuff, and um, there my dog is just barking. <laughs> and um, I, I uh, enjoyed you know going to Tate's Bakery. There was a cool supermarket in the bottom near the center of town. I went to, to the AMC Theater to watch Zero Zero Seven with my friend Sam. It was really cool. I ate in a bunch of different places. I went to the to the Fine Arts Museum too, like three times. Great place. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I had fun. And uh, I studied, and I always felt a part of something. Uh, I lost that feeling, but it'll come back.
It always does. Feelings are like a wave, you know, sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad. It's, you know, seasonal, sort of, maybe, sometimes, who knows. Yeah, I was a university student, and I, I, I left it, and I'm studying cinema here in Brazil. Um, it's a cool course, but I think I had in Boston. Because, you know, I like English, and I like talking to people. And I would go to the library and read books, too. Yeah. I also like this chick was a, 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 a student, an aide to the professor. She was part of the class, and she was in ROTC, and I went to talk to her. And she lived in Germany, so did I. I went to look for her after that, but I didn't find her. So, yeah, pretty much I had lots of fun. And you will, too, if you go. Just walk. carefully, you don't pay too much. It's, it's not actually worth it if you pay all the whole price. I got a, a large uh, student, student relief, or a student aid, like 70K, 70,000 student aid. That was insane. And I could have gone to another university. I could have gone to Northeastern. Could have gone to, you know, something in the UK which I applied to, but I went to Boston, Suffolk, very cool. Go Rams! <laughs>